In this video, I will show you which are the main features for an Trimix dive of our iExtreme ratio computer. First, let's set up the algorithm and all its conservatism factors. To do this, let's go in the main settings, select the dive setting menu, and as you see, we can change the algorithm. Let's set up the Bullman algorithm and the gradient factors, the gradient factor low and the gradient factor high. For gradient factor I, let's choose a 2070 setup. More, and this is a unique feature of our computer, we can set up even the uh, deep stop algorithm. As you know, there are different algorithms available, like the standard algorithm or the pile protocol. For this dive, let's use the pile protocol. Let's save and exit. Once we have set up the uh, algorithm parameters, we can set up our gas. Let's choose the mix table menu. The first mix that you set up is the mix with which you will start your dive. So let's choose a 50, 15, 55. So let's reduce the oxygen. Let's rise the helium fraction. And now we can move to the second gas, to our decompression gas. For example, as second mix, we can set up the EAN 50. We can change the PPO2 in order to modify the maximum operative depth or the depth at which we, at which we wanna change the gas. Let's set up at 1.6. And finally, we have to specify to the computer that we will use this mix for the compression. So let's set up the deco parameter to yes. Finally, we can set up even a third gas, that is the oxygen. And in the deco parameter, we need to set up yes. At this point, we can exit our mix table menu. So we are in the main screen. Let's now simulate a dive down to 70 meters. Let's take a closer look to our main screen during diving. On the top we have the depth, the dive mode, this mean, I mean open circuit, the algorithm that we are using, that is Bullman, the dive time, the non-decompression limit, the mix that we are actually breathing, the PPO2 of the mix that we are breathing, and the ascent or descent speed. During dive, we can access different screens and more information. On the second screen, for example, we have temperature, average depth, maximum depth. On the next screen, we have the, set, the gradient factors that we have set up for this dive, the O2 and the CNS value. In the next screen, we have the dive graph. And moreover, we have also all the tissue saturation for both inert gases, I mean nitrogen and helium. Once we entered the decompression phase, we have also a screen on which we have a complete table of all the decompression stops we need to do during the dive. And for each decompression stop, we have specified which is the gas mix that we need to breathe. During diving, we can also access to the compass. The compass that is uh, furnished with our computer is a very accurate compass that is still compensated down to 85 degrees. You can set up the direction and the computer will automatically 
calculate the reciprocal. Moreover, during navigation, once you are outside your direction, the computer will uh, tell you with the arrows where you need to go to enter back your main direction. Once we are near the depth to change our gas mix, the computer will automatically signal it to the uh, diver by blinking the mix field. For example, now we can change easily from the bottom mix to the decompression mix that in this example is the EN15. Once we approach the deco stop of 6 meters, the computer will signal us to change again the mix. Like before, it will blink and we will change in a very easy way the mix that we are using. If we want to perform a gas break, we can do it. Let's see how. Let's enter the main menu, go to the mix selection parameter, navigate through the mixes that you have set up in your gas mix table, and choose the one which with you want to perform the gas break. At this point, activate this gas. Now, exit the menu. The computer will blink uh, on the mix indication to remember you that you are performing a gas break. And once you want to go back to the oxygen, just enter the menu and select yes.